Dan, who drops back down to the featherweight division where he made his name before his time in the UFC. Slight one-inch reach advantage for Duho Choi. Back inside the octagon for the introductions, Show Martinez. Well, fine fans, we are set to go. Our next bout tonight, three rounds, this in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striker, standing five feet, nine inches tall. Weighing in officially 146 pounds, his professional record stands at nine victories and two defeats. Fighting out of Beloit, Quebec, Canada, here is Charles Air Jordan. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A striker standing five feet, 10 inches tall. Also weighing at officially 146 pounds. His professional record, 14 victories and three defeats. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Here is the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. And to referee in charge of the action is Peter Hickmoss. As you would expect, the crowd loud for their hometown fighter, Duho Choi. The Korean Superboy is a minus 320 favorite in this good. matchup. Really Charles Air Jordan plus 250. As an underdog, Duho Choi said this week he promises a knockout in this matchup. Yeah. Jordan's got to be careful with some of the flamboyant stuff that we've seen him do in his uh, prior to his UFC debut. They're the kind of things that leave you vulnerable for a single shot power punch and you can see Choi's already got him backed up against the fence. I think Choi's going to try and catch him with that rear uppercut that we've uh, seen him use so effectively in the past. First clinch of the fight. Body shots from Jordan as he tries to fight his way out. Jordan go to that low kick several times, but Troy out of the way. A quick combination on the return, firing an uppercut. Yeah, there's that uppercut. He's got such good timing with it. Good work. Body shot left hook from Jordan. Oh, nice knee. Little oh, step in knee, and Jordan off the mat. Also ate a left hook from Duho Choi. And the nose already busted up on the Canadian. Oh, nice uppercut from Jordan there. Far more aggressive than his uh, UFC debut than what we've seen. Powerful kick. Good head movement, keeps him out of danger. And Jordan certainly knew that Duho Troy is dangerous, but he wants fighters against powerful strikers that'll keep it on the feet and stay aggressive. In these body shots that Jordan's landing when he's in the clinch, digging them right into the center of the stomach. Oh! Flip with a counter. Flipped with a counter left up as he comes crashing in. Choi looking for the uppercut. Jordan trying to find some space. Trying to find his footing as well as he stumbled to his left but lands a kick up top. Good low kick. Jordan, perhaps in survival mode, tries to lock things up. He is a brown belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Possibly setting up a, an armbar here if he can keep that arm locked into his chest. Swings the feet back, but Troy out of danger for the moment as he regains his footing. He wants to stay in close quarters and land some grounded pounds. He's trying to climb that guard up, but Troy is standing over him at the moment. And the power punching that's relevant on the feet is also relevant from this position when he can rain down that power with the assistance of gravity. Beautiful work exposing his back. Under two minutes to go. Biggest moments in this first round belong to Duho Choi. Left hand 
hands landed by Troy as Jordan returns to his feet. Oh, spinning back fist. Looking unstable on his legs is Jordan. Definitely feeling the pressure from Choi, who's far more calm and measured. Pressured up against the fence is Jordan. Choi wandering. My knee from Jordan. Choi eats it without issue. Final minute of this first round. Head strikes 16 to 3 in favor of the Korean Super Bowl. Out of the way of the spinning back fist from Jordan and now pressuring. Choi with the knee up the center, just missed though. Nice head movement from Choi who escapes, but now they clinch once again in the center. Head position for Jordan, tries to build a frame. Goes for the spinning attack again, and another flying knee. Oh, wow, and Jordan sits him down. Troy quickly gets his wits back, and now it's Jordan trying for the ground and pound. Short on time here in the first round. Can Troy recover? Can he hold it together for this round? Final seconds here of round number one. Another left from Jordan. Good to have you oh, back to no, no. 30 second break. Charles! Back in Sajik Arena in Busan, South Korea, listening into the corners. Let's take a look at some of that action because there was a lot of it in the first five minutes. There was, and predominantly it was Choi that was dictating the pace. He was landing good shots. I mean, uh, Jordan was still crashing forward, but then like, clipped, clipped with a left hook there. Some wild exchanges, but then right at the end of the round, Jordan comes crashing yes. forward with a straight yes. left across yes. the chin of Choi. Certainly going to get yes. Superboy's respect. Okay, let's fight. So both guys landed powerful shots. Does this change the approach from either fighter? I expect Jordan to be his wild self as always. Choi stalking, trying to back his opponent up against the fence, takes a good body kick from Jordan. So measured, so calm is Choi. Walks his way into punching range. Confident in his head movement to get him out of danger. Yeah, certainly looks right back at home after a more than 700 day layoff since his last action in the octagon. Uh, but fans of Duho Choi take a good look. He was unable to get his required government service started as he eats a right hand. But because the UFC is in South Korea, he can't leave the country while he waits for that process to go through. So perhaps he gets it lined up and he'll be out for another two years, but we we'll get to see him here throw wild tonight. Again with a body kick. Jordan's attacks come from so far out, he covers distance. Nice overhand left. Faked that uppercut, Dan, and then came in with a different attack. Mm. Trying to close the distance. Meanwhile, Jordan continues to find the rhythm here. Good body kick again. Blocked by Choi, who takes the shot. Two minutes into the second round, and it's Jordan with the advantage in striking numbers as Choi throws heavy. A fun game I like to play when I'm watching a power puncher is to, is to I watch their power hand. 
Joy's power hand is his right hand, and watch the way he carries it. Everything else is supplementary to that punch. He carries that like it's a nuclear weapon, like it's the solution to all of his problems. And everything else is to set up the placement of that right hand. He knows that's the shot that will do the damage, no matter whether it's a straight, a hook, or an uppercut. There it is. He took it that time and gets loose with it before Jordan escapes from danger. Good shots from Jordan. A more varied attack from Jordan. Nice yeah, uppercut. Wow, an uppercut. Spinning back. Oh, Superboy trying the fly in the going to steal that nickname of air. from Troy. That right hand again. Jordan slightly ahead on the, the total strikes landed. 57 to 42 in favor of Jordan. Troy on the retreat. Flying knee and Jordan still showing pressure. I love that uppercut that Jordan throws. It pierces right through the guard, lifts the chin up of his opponent. If he can follow that with a hook or a cross, it's going to be very impactful. Big second round for the Canadian so far. As we come up on 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, out the Super Bowl, wow. getting it done in the Far East. Wow. Say hello to a new contender. And the arena goes silent. What a beautiful finish from Jordan. Under pressure all the way through that fight, but second round starts to turn it around. Starts to crush forward with those long combinations. Talk about going in with a game plan and executing it perfectly. Charles Jordan withstands the early storm and puts together a masterful second round knockout. Lovely, just like the end of the second round, an accurate straight left, right to the chin, bang. Right as Choi was stepping in for the uppercut. One of the benefits of, uh, of your opponent investing in uppercuts is that they do have to drop their hands when they throw. Look at that. Both hands down by his waist for Choi. Jordan pops him on the chin with the straight left. Really, really nice work. How about that, Quebec? Hope you're up early for this result. Charles Jordan is in the UFC win column in the most impressive fashion. We hear from the winner when we come back. Back in Busan, South Korea, the home crowd unhappy, but Charles Jordan is. Here's Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Four minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Referee Peter Hickmont puts a halt to the bout. Your winner by TKO, Charles and Jordan.